Now let's look at an example of a more complicated message flow. This time, we will use a business process to orchestrate the flow of the messages, control the requests to the database, and combine the results to send back. As we go through this example, pay attention to the direction of the arrows representing requests and responses. Consider a billing application that needs patient demographics from two separate databases. As always, the request will come into the production through a business service. This time, the business service will send the message to a business process to further process the request. The business process will control the obtaining and combining of data necessary for the response. Since the data for the response is contained in two different databases, the business process will send two separate requests to two separate business operations. Each business operation will communicate with one database. The business operations will take care of the details of communication with the external databases and retrieval of the responses. The business operation receives the response with the patient demographic data. Then the business operation will pass the data back to the business process. The business process will combine the data from the two business operations into one response and pass that response back to the business service. Finally, the business service will provide the patient demographic data back to the billing application. In this example, the business service is able to return a response to the application that sent the original request. However, not all business services are able to send responses, and not all applications are able to receive responses from a business service. This example illustrates a business process being used for flow control, logic and processing, business operations querying a database, and a business service returning a response to the application that sent it a request.